All right, Chief Meteorologist Joe Varis is here with us now. We had a, I think I woke up, it was almost 65 degrees this morning at like 7 o'clock. We had a low last night of only 61 degrees, Jeez. so it stayed warm all night long. We hit 68 uh, late this morning. Cold front has gone through and temperatures have been slowly dropping through the afternoon hours, but it's still mild at this hour. A little bit of a cool down tomorrow, but the rest of the week is looking mild once again. Good, let's take a look. All right, here's our weather headlines for tonight, and we are calling for the chance for a couple showers out there. Nothing on the heavy side tonight, but a couple showers certainly in the forecast. 50s in store for us for tomorrow, along with some breezy conditions out of the northwest. We'll give you a five degree guarantee of 56 and then a dry period beginning tomorrow, lasting through Wednesday and most of Thursday turning a little bit more unsettled as we approach the upcoming weekend. So the cold front has already pushed through an upper level trough of low pressure also coming through tonight. That's what's triggering off a couple showers this evening, but high pressure moves in for tomorrow. So even though we're going to start off with some cloudy conditions in the morning, we'll have increasing amount of sunshine going through tomorrow afternoon. Between now and then we do have some showers back over the eastern Great Lakes that are going to swing through as we go through the evening hours. Again, all this is very light, but uh, a chilly rain at times going going through the overnight period with temperatures dropping into the upper 30s. You can see the steadiest range right now back over the New York City area and then up into western areas of New England. That's where the actual cold front has already pushed through. The upper level low is still back over the eastern lakes and that's what's swinging some of this precipitation back down into our neck of the woods. Cooler off to the west as well. Jamestown and Bradford at 48 degrees, but off towards the east still quite a bit warmer with looking at some mid 60s right now in New York City and in Williamsport. Um, are coming with a current temperature of 62 degrees. On the local level, we're looking at temperatures also in the 60s and a few upper 50s. Ithaca at 59 degrees, 63 in Corning, and Wellsboro at 59. Our temperature trend as we go through the next several hours, well, we bottom out at 39 degrees, so a lot cooler than what we had last night, but still not too bad for this time of year, back up to 44 by 9 in the morning. Future track is showing cloudy conditions through the overnight period as we go into early Tuesday morning, looking at the chance for an early shower. Otherwise, clouds giving way to increasing amount of sunshine by the time we get into the afternoon hours. It will be cooler, though, and we'll have some brisk conditions out of the northwest. Partly cloudy skies tomorrow night. Temperatures dropping into the low and mid 30s, so some patchy frost possible going into Wednesday morning. A mix of sun and clouds for Wednesday afternoon, but temperatures bumping back up into the 60s, so not too bad at all for this time of year and warmer yet for Thursday. Five degree guarantee for today. Our forecast high temperatures 67. It hits 68. Forecast for the rest of tonight, couple showers here and there, otherwise mostly cloudy skies and temperatures in the upper 30s to around 40 in the southern Finger Lakes, 39 tonight. Now Myra, 38 are forecast low in Corning and for the northern tier, expect some spotty showers and temperatures right around 40 degrees. Interactive Sky Tracker 7 day forecast is showing a cooler day for tomorrow, but at least we're dry. Mix of sun and clouds, more sun for the afternoon, mid to upper 60s Wednesday and Thursday. And then as we approach the upcoming weekend, another low pressure moves in, giving us the chance for a couple showers. Doesn't look like a washout, but there will be the threat for rain both Saturday and Sunday. And this time of year, just kind of yo-yos like that. We're used to that. And that's right. And uh, actually, temperature wise, though, we are looking pretty good mm -hmm. after we get through tomorrow. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Joe.